Got a very special guest on the phone today. It is Andrew Drew Copeland of Sister Hazel. What's going on, man? I'm doing great today, man. Thanks for having me on, man. Oh, thanks for uh, thanks for calling in. It's always good to talk to you guys. It's been a while since I've seen you. Early, early Sister Hazel days. We had you guys come in and do a radio show for 103 GBF at a club called The Duck Inn, which is no longer in existence. And uh, All For You had not popped when we announced the show. And then sudden, suddenly it did. It went to number one. And uh, I don't know if you remember that gig or not, but the crowd was just <laughs> around the block. Well, we, you know, we had a lot of fun. Still do, man. Still out throwing people. And, you know, every time I, I walk out on the stage and see a crowd out there, man, I'm amazed and thankful and, and all the things that go along with it. So, well, you, got- uh, you know, look, we still appreciate your support and, you know, even having me on today, man, I just appreciate it. Well, you guys put out good music and I followed you over the years. Let me say, first of all, uh, Sister Hazel is going to be at the Backstage Bar and Grill on Main Street on June 2nd. So uh, that's kind of what we're priming the pump for here. And uh, you guys, you know, really what I like about Sister Hazel, you still play very heartfelt music. You know, you haven't really kind of followed the trends. you kind of done what you want to do, and it's been very successful for you. Man, thank you so much. You know, something that we take a lot of pride in is our songwriting. And a lot of that has to do with with just writing from the heart, you know, uh, being kind of honest with your songwriting. I think that uh, the five of us have always agreed that any time that we're trying to be contrived and be something that we're not, um, people see through that. And so for us, it's always been about, you know, writing honest songs, uh, songs that still speak to people. And, and, uh, you know, we get in the studio and kind of let them, we let the songs kind of guide us where they want to go and hope that people still gravitate towards it and, like I said, man, we've just been so blessed. I mean, we're, you know, 20, you know, coming up on 22 years. I know. Uh, with, with the same five guys. So, you know, it's, it's been a run. That is rare in itself, pretty much. Absolutely. Uh, we're talking to Andrew Drew Copeland of Sister Hazel. He's co-lead vocalist and also plays guitar. And uh, they're going to be at the Backstage Bar and Grill on June 2nd. Your latest album, uh, you guys really kind of set up shop in Nashville. And what, what do you think was the greatest advantage to that? Well, you know, we've actually been making, we've made our last five or six studio records in Nashville. And um, we've had a, a, a couple of different managers um, throughout the last probably 15 years, um, 15 to, uh, yeah, 15 years that, that were based out of Nashville. We spent a lot of time there. Actually, you know, it's funny as my mom's family's from Nashville, so it's, it's you know, it's, it's, there's a little bit of home for me there. Sure. Um, and it, it's just a place that we've gravitated towards. A lot of it, you know, the, the songwriters that live in Nashville, you know, on this record specifically, I collaborated with a lot of great writers out of Nashville, and and, um, and then the musicianship there is just incredible. And so it's, it's a really thriving, you know, music mecca, to be honest with you. I mean, oh, yeah. you know, it's always kind of been the New York, L.A., you know, back and forth, which one are you? But now Nashville, it, it, it has its own. I mean, it holds its own, so... Uh, it, it was a good thing that, we, that we've that we been going up there for as long as we have. And, you know, it's, it's so funny that the country genre has really uh, adopted this, this band and this record mm-hmm. um, uh, since we put it out. And we really aren't doing anything that much different. It's a, it's a you know, for, for Sister Hazel fans that have, that have been with the band for, for many years, I think they can go back and listen to, to the last studio records and go, man, this just sounds like another evolutionary step for the band. It doesn't sound like anything uh, they were shooting for anything specific. So, you know, it's, it's a really exciting time for us to be, you know, back on the radio and, and touring behind a new record. We took way too long between records, that's for sure. The latest album is called Lighter in the Dark. I really like, because you write the lyrics, I really like that one line uh, from the title track. I'm just a kid from Gainesville watching Petty with my lighter in the dark. Of course, Tom Petty, that's a it. Gainesville that's artist. It, man. Yeah. Go ahead, sorry. Now I say, of course, uh, Tom Petty, a Gainesville artist, so you're really writing about uh, your earliest inspirations and uh, I guess what got you hooked on rock. Uh, no, exactly. And, you know, the funny thing is when when the band, we, you know, when we're coming up with album titles, we go through this process, which is only a lot of fun. But when somebody posted that up on, on you know, we, we, we get these post-it stickers and we put them up on a big wall or a mm-hmm. window or wherever it is on the bus, and we kind of start pulling ones down that don't work. But Lighter in the Dark was one that everybody went back and they gravitated towards that lyric specifically, and they were like, man, we all did that. Like, we, that's, 
that's about as honest as you can get. Right. And that's why that title stuck. And we were all, you know, we were all huge city fans. And man, the music that's come through this town, you know, uh, the some of the guys from the Eagles, you know, David Still. So it's been, uh, it's been, you know, a lot of good music comes through here. And my mom, my mom lives in Gainesville. See? And then there's that, which is even more of special. <laughs> right. Actually, actually, High Springs, <laughs> but I, I guess you know where that is, too. I do know where High Springs yeah. is. Spent, spent many a day uh, in the springs over in High Springs. Uh, it's a beautiful part of Florida. Even though it's not close to an ocean, it is close to some great, clear bodies of water. So No doubt. No doubt. And you know what? You can hit either coast in about an hour and 15 minutes. Mm-hmm. You can speed limit just a little bit, you know, so. Ex- absolutely. You got to go a little faster, you know, if you're going to the ocean, especially. That's right. Uh, Andrew Drew Copeland of Sister Hazel. The band is going to be at Backstage Bar and Grill on June 2nd. The latest album is Lighter in the Dark. And uh, if you want to buy tickets for the show or get more info, go to Backstage Bar and Grill's Facebook page. All the info is there. And get ready for Sister Hazel, man, June 2nd. Happy to have you guys coming back to town, man. Man, thanks so much. I hope you can make it out. You know, our live show is still what we drive on, man. We love playing live and we promise a good time. It, it, we're going to you know, play a bunch of the old stuff as well as stuff off the new record. So it should be a great time. I'll be there. And Drew, thank you so much for taking time today to call in and talk to me. All right, Mike. I hope to see you soon. Sounds good.